Hello, everybody. We've got an interview with Coach Monty Barrow coming up in here in just a moment. An interview with quarterback Luke Broussard as well. Plus a lot of things that to the Needland High School of video production. Charlie, I'm going to tell you everything I know about the Austin Mustangs. Lost their game, their season opener last week to Wheatley, 8-6. to six. Uh, They're in a very tough district, a District 11, Division 2, 5. Coach Monty Barrow, I'd love to congratulate you on a full game victory, but hey, three quarters of one's not bad. Yeah, you know, I mean, Mother Nature does her own thing, so uh, we were fortunate enough to get that much in. Uh, you know, like I told our kids, we'll determine how successful that game was based on what we learned from it, the good and the bad, and bring with us forward. After the first 13 seconds of the game, you guys held one of the most potent offenses in Southeast Texas scoreless. What about that defense? Yeah, they were they were all over the place. Uh, you know, our, our defensive coaches do a great job preparing them throughout the week. Uh, you know, about you know situations and formations and just everything that you know teams work on. But you know, they they take care of those little details and hopefully the kids got a good idea of what you know, what to expect before the ball snaps so they can just, you know, freely play the play instead of having to think so much. And I thought we did that the other night running around uh, being very active. Really uh, shut down that Russian game too. They might they might get six or seven yards after that, but y'all were able to keep them from crossing into your end zone. Yeah, well, that, you know, that's our, our thing on defense is make them line up and snap it again. And in high school football, the more you make them snap it, the better chance that they'll, you know, have a mistake and you'd be able to capitalize on that. Now at halftime you, you went you went to your book of tricks there. What was the magic thing you told the needle and offense that came out fired up in the third quarter? Well, I don't know if that was <laughs> anything magical. I mean, I, you know, Luke Luke got on you know his first half under his belt on Friday night and I think he was more confident, and relaxed coming out the second half saying, you know, well it's, it's still football. Mm -hmm. It's not Thursday night, it's Friday night, it's mm -hmm. faster speed and all that, which West Orange definitely was that defensively. Uh, and, you know, maybe the numbers helped. They were starting to cramp a little bit, and so we were able to, you know, capitalize on some of that. But uh, I think just confidence of where the, you know, where the score was at halftime coming out in that third quarter and, you know, being more aggressive. Offensive line gave him a lot better protection in the second half, too, because West Orange Stark was throwing some stunts at you early. Yeah, and they got some guys up front that, uh, can will give anybody fit so but you know our offensive line we we really rely on them and in, in everything we do and uh it's going to start with running the football and we continue to do that we didn't you know we had a few here and there bigger plays and and i think uh mason in the backfield started getting a little more comfortable he, he's the more he sees the more comfortable he'll get so and that just kind of gave everybody else a little boost Beresford had a real good second half, or I should say third quarter, never got to play the fourth. Yeah, that's what, and like I say, you know, that's that's all about confidence. Uh, you know, he's been a receiver safety his whole career. Uh, football, I say his whole career, he's a junior, so. Uh, but the more he gets behind that offensive line, and he can do it in practice, but more in game situation, the more comfortable he'll be. Now, have you signed up uh, Fusilier yet for the high jump? There were a couple of jump balls there where he out jumped two, sometimes three defenders. Well, and that's, you know, that's Luke paying attention and knowing, you know, who he's throwing it to, uh, what he's been able to do his whole career, uh, make plays like that. And, uh, you know, I don't ever want to just look at it and say, oh, that's just what he does because it, it's, it's, it's still pretty amazing. Houston, Stephen F. Austin this week, 7 o'clock kickoff. Uh, what do you know about the Must uh, second group of Mustangs, but these guys are green and white? Yeah, you know, no, they got athletes. That, you know, they're athletic. Uh, you know, I've, I've met the coach a few times, and, and uh, you know, he'll have those guys ready to play. I think they're, we're at a, they're probably at a little disadvantage early in the year uh, as far as what they're able to do because of last year being – I think virtual probably for most of the spring. So not having his kids in off season and not sure how much they had that in the summer. But, uh, you know, when you, when you turn the film on, you, you see guys that if they break loose, it'll be hard to catch them, you know. And so uh, we got to, you know, take care of our responsibilities defensively and then offensively, we got to take care of us. Not, not worry about what's on the other side of the ball, but, you know, no pre-snap penalties taking care of assignments and we're still in the process of, of building and building hopefully getting better each week and want to be playing our best football down the line good deal thank you coach here with luke broussard from uh central middle school just thought i'd throw that out but uh, quarterback of the needland bulldogs luke what was it like your first game under center varsity friday night 
it was very nerve wracking. I mean, my team was there to support me though, so it was all good. Now you had a lot of success last year in the JV uh, uh, season and everything. Did you throw as much back then? Yes, sir. I threw. I feel like I threw a little bit more on JV, but it was only the first game, so we're just waiting to see what happens. Offensively, you guys really turned it around there in the third quarter. I, I asked Coach Barrow what was the magic words he said to him at halftime. He said, "We just talked to him about executing their plays." Yes, sir. That's true. Just had to calm my nerves down and go out there and perform. Was it nervous on Friday night having everybody here, Bulldog Nation, all around you, knowing that thousands of people were watching you on screen? Nope. Yes, sir, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the fact we had thousands of people watching really helped a lot, too. But this week, when you go off to Houston, playing Houston, Stephen F. Austin, what do you know about the Mustangs? I mean, they're a fast team. We've been watching a little film on there here, here and there. We're just go, ready to go out there and perform. So. The, uh, now, you did say there was one group that you especially wanted to say some thanks to. Oh, yeah, I want to thank my offensive line <laughs> and our defense. The defense held one of the best offenses in Southeast Texas. Good quarter. Good quarterbacks always thank their offensive line. Now, if you were in the NFL, you'd have to buy them some Rolexes or something like that. Yes, we sir. don't do that at UIL, but, Luke, it's going to be a good season watching you here. But uh, I tell you what, just remember to tuck that ball away when you run, man, yes, because sir. you spend a lot of time scrambling. Yes, sir. Um, I've, I'm very confident in my legs, so I feel like I can do stuff with my legs. Yeah, you got several first downs there with that last minute to push through. Uh, and, and I'm going to ask you, uh, what is your favorite offensive play? What is the one when they signal it in that you just say, I can't wait to get the ball? I, I like when they do quarterback powers, like a 49Q. <laughs> I just think that's fun. Yeah, you, you you like overloading one side, and then you just follow all those big yes, guys sir. to the end zone. Yes, huh? sir. Okay, now the last hard question. Who's your favorite teacher at Needleton High School? Right now. Right now. Uh, <laughs> I probably had the same as Hart. She was, she's been my math teacher two years. So. Well, there you go. Yeah, uh, quarterbacks know how to butter up their math teachers. Luke, good luck to you. Thank you. I threw that one on you, didn't I? Yes, sir. <laughs>
Uh, uh, you know, your broadcast guy is Charles Dellen. Yes, sir. Who, that's this guy. Oh, my gosh. I will Right here. Oh, where did that come from? Look at from? that red hair. That would be a close-up on that later. That is 1980. That's 1980. And that is Coach uh, Coach Jellin. He was my coach at Thomas Edison Junior High. And I just want to say that uh, Coach Jellin, this is how much he means. I had to go in the attic to get this, Coach. But I've had this ever since then. Uh, you've been a, a – coaches have been a great influence on my life. You've been one of them. Coach Randy Terrio, the Hall of Famer, has been another one. And I uh, just want to say thank you, and I hope you guys have a great season. Charlie, you got busted and bragged on in the same paragraph. <laughs> Here's some news you can use. Five Point Credit Union is extending the getaway cruise. That's right. People can't seem to get enough of our sun-filled, fun-filled offer. So we're keeping the Get A Loan, Get A Cruise party going full steam ahead until October 30th. Cruise in today for a great rate on a great loan. And then start planning for your five-day, four-night luxury cruise getaway from your friends at Five Point. Five Point Credit Union. You belong here.